Hey everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to another Captain's Vlog. Um, today is November 29th, March 29th, it's March 29th, we're in March, son of a bitch. Today, we have a couple things to talk about. Uh, a couple things I want to go over with y'all real quick today about this week and shit. So first off, one of the things I want to talk about is these fabulous personal pizzas. Look at this shit I made. Look at this beautifully well done personal pan pizza I made today using pita bread, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and I think it tastes really, really good. Now I'm using a fork and a knife, don't judge me. Um, I don't always eat pizza with a fork and a knife, just sometimes it tastes a little bit better, sometimes it's a little bit easier to eat with a fork and a knife, depending on how you're eating it. Now, look at that slice, that little that little slice I just cut out. Perfectly done, perfectly done. So good. Mmm. Mmm, that was good. Let me finish that up after this vlog. Okay, so there's this thing I saw earlier today, um, probably like 20 minutes ago on fucking Facebook, and I need, I need to show you guys this. So I don't know if you guys know this, but um, Ford has been doing some commercials with Power Rangers, you know, because the movie's coming out and they're, you know, doing commercials. Um, but the commercials they're doing are with the footage from Mighty Morphin in 93 with, you know, the voiceovers from, you know, Jason David Frank and um, I forget the name of Zordon, but the, the voice actor who did Zordon and stuff like that. And they're so fucking cheesy and bad. They're so fucking bad. Like these commercials are so fucking bad but i love them it's like watching the room like it's so bad that you like it so i can't find the one i had just watched but i found another one that looks fucking wild it's only a minute y'all y'all just just watch this just watch this shit we're back you know it really is an honor having you all here today thanks harv we're here because the world needs to know about the advanced technologies in the 2017 Ford Escape, like available enhanced active park assist. It comes in nine colors. Ruby red sounds so energetic. Yeah! Lightning blue has great power. My experiments support this hypothesis. White gold, if you're fancy. Gold further. <laughs> if you're mysterious and lightning quick, the Ford Escape also comes in shadow black and magnetic. Oh, and Canyon Ridge, which is a more phenomenal way to say burnt orange. Its 68 feet of cargo space is great for hauling spare Zord parts. And it comes in Oxford white, white platinum, and ingot silver. Let's get back to action, Rangers. Remember, kids, Ford can help you go further. Ford, Ford, go, go further. For real, like, what the fuck was that? What the f actual fuck was that? It, it, it makes me happy because it's fucking, you know, 90s Mighty Morphin, but holy shit, that was so fucking bad. That was so campy, so fucking cheesy. You know, like, I, I gotta hope it was done, like, intentionally to look, be that bad. To be that bad. I really hope. And the more I think about it, the more I think it had to have been done to be that bad. Because they would have to have been sitting in that board and be like, Power Rangers is coming out. We need to do a commercial. And they're like, how about we get old footage from the 90s and we get the voice actors to dub over them um, again and, and but put stuff about the 2017 Ford Focus. And they're like, that is a terrible idea. Let's do it. It's going to be awesome. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. It's so cheesy, but it's so great. It's so great. I hate it. It's so good. Uh... <laughs> Right, so this week, what did I do? What did I do this week? This week, I worked. Uh, I hung out with some people the other night. I forget what night, but we hung out the other night. Uh, went to this little game shop. Not game shop. It's kind of like Gameworks, but Gameworks closed down, so now they put this place in there. Um, for those of you who don't know who uh, Gamesworks is, it's like Dave & Buster's without alcohol. Actually, they have alcohol there. It's like a, it's like an old Dave & Buster's. And uh, so we, we played some pinball there, had some drinks. I showed up really late, but played some ticket games, won a couple jackpots, it was dope. Um, and then we went back to an apartment, hung out and played Quiplash and some of those games, which is really, really, really fun. Um, I don't get out enough, to be honest, I really don't. And it was nice to get out and hang out with some people I don't really hang out with very often. And it was good, it was fun, it was a good time. Yes, do it more often. You guys need to go hang out with your friends. 
because it's nice and it makes life a little bit better. <laughs> right, so I spent four days at GameStop last week. All my days off were at GameStop. Uh, so last vlog I did was Tuesday. It was last Tuesday and it was the first day I stayed at GameStop. And I got on and I, I remember I was like super tired. I was fucking out of it. And I was like, listen guys, like I just fucking sat outside of GameStop for five hours, all this shit, right? So the next day they're supposed to have the 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 switch. That's the day they advertise, hey, the switch is gonna be here on the 22nd. It's gonna be here on Wednesday. I show up at GameStop at fucking seven in the morning to make sure I get one. I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there at seven in the morning. Um, and it was kind of weird. The only other person there was like this older lady. And like, we kind of talked for a little while. And then, you know, I did my own thing. I watched TV on my phone and stuff like that. By the time like 9.30 rolled around, they opened at 10. By the time 9.30 rolled around, you know, there was five of us. There was more than five of us. There was like eight of us. Um, but I was in the first five. So we're sitting there until noon waiting for the shipment to come in so we could get our switches. And then the switches didn't come. It was noon. Switches didn't come. The shipment came. They just didn't get switches. I'm like, fucking shit, man. I've been here for two days. I sat outside for five hours, two days now. This fucking sucks. So they're like, it's okay, Thursday, the shipment will be here, guaranteed. That's what they told us, Thursday is when it's gonna be here. And I was like, all right, cool. What's one more day? So Thursday rolls around. And now I'm over here and I'm like, oh shit, everybody knows I was here at seven. So everyone's gonna be showing up at seven. I gotta be here earlier. So I get to GameStop at like 6.30 or 6.15. I think it was like 6.15, yeah, on Thursday. And I'm like, okay, I'm here early enough. I'm one of the first people. There was one other person there who had been there on Wednesday. Uh, his name's Ruben. It was really cool. Actually uh, got some information from him. And he had been sleeping there since three. I'm like, okay, cool. It's just the two of us. Um, by the time seven o'clock rolled around, there was five of us. There was five of us there. Three of us were there from Wednesday. And we hung out, we talked. It was a really good time. It was a really good time. Went by a lot faster. Um, still sucked. Didn't get to sleep in for a third day now. Still sucked. Um, so noon rolls around. No switch. Don't know why. Shipment didn't come in. Uh, turns out, you know, UPS messed up that entire district and, and stuff like that. Long story. Um, but no, no switch. We're sitting there. I'm just fucking done. I'm done at this point. I'm like, this is so fucking uh, anxiety inducing. I just want the goddamn switch. I've been here for three days now. It's been a total of like 15 something hours. I still don't have it. I don't even know if they're going to get it by tomorrow at this point. Like who the fuck knows when they're going to get it. Right. And so I'm a little defeated. I come home. I'm kind of depressed. I'm like, I've been fucking sitting outside for the switch. I just want to play Zelda. Like I just, I just want it. I just want this, this switch. Um, you know, I talked to my mom. She's like, Toys R Us is getting them on Saturday. If you don't get one Friday, like I can, I can go and I can wait, which is really sweet of her. And it kind of helped. It really did help. I was like, okay, well, you know what? I can relax a little bit. Cause I know at the very least Saturday I'll be getting, one. I go in Friday anyways. I go in Friday anyways. Cause I'm like, I've already done it three days in a row. I got to see this through. I got to fucking see this through. And I get there, I go at four in the morning, four or five in the morning this time. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep ahead of time. And then I'm gonna go to GameStop. I miss Power Rangers for this shit. And then um, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep at the parking lot for a couple extra hours, wake up and I'll already be there. So I did that. I wake up, it's like 6.30 now. There's another car next to me, uh, someone I don't really know. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, whatever. I hang out, people from the other days start showing up. Um, we start talking and, and it's a good time again. And then I'm thirsty, right? I'm like, I'm really fucking thirsty. Fucking Ruben, the guy I told you about that been the other day, he brought me fucking, uh, um, some fucking Denny's, which is sweet. Cause I saved a spot for him. Shout out to Ruben for that. Thank you very much if you're watching this. Um, and I'm like, I'm thirsty. I don't know if he's bringing a drink. Cause I didn't tell him I wanted a drink and I don't really know how Denny's does their ordering if I don't think they have meals, right? Like it comes with a drink. You order a drink separately. I was like, and I need some caffeine. So I'm going to go to Starbucks, right? I'm going to go to Starbucks. I'm going to get a coffee real quick. I'm sure my spot will still be fine. So I go to Walmart. I go to Starbucks. I get my Starbucks. I'm walking back and I look in the distance to where GameStop is because it's across the parking lot. And I see one of the guys that had been standing there walking back to GameStop with a red bag in his hand. And I'm walking. I'm like, 
why has he got that bag in his hand? It's like, it kind of looks like a Target bag, but it can't, it can't be a Target bag. There's no way he got to Target and back before I got my coffee. Fuck Starbucks, by the way, for taking so long to make a fucking latte. And then a little backstory. Every single day we had been outside of GameStop, we had called Target at 8 o'clock because we were already there when they opened and asked, hey, do you have any switches? I heard a rumor you were getting them this week. And Target being the dick bags they are, like, we're not allowed to give out any of that information, but we don't have any right now. I'm like, okay, cool. So now it's Friday. I'm walking back from Starbucks and this motherfucker has a Target bag. And I'm and in my gut, I'm like, should I just turn around and run? There's no way that's a Target bag, though. There's no way. It has to be something else. And I get closer and he's just like, Target's got switches. They got two left. And I just fucking put my Starbucks on and I haul ass running to Target. And I get to Target and Ruben's walking down. He's like, they're gone. So in the time I went to Starbucks and got back, Target got switches and sold out of them. And I was like, Fuck this. If I don't get a switch today because it was it was upsetting. But luckily around noon, you know, the truck came and they had the switches and it was great. I came home. I did a stream of it. Some of you guys have probably watched it. Um, and I've been playing Zelda religiously ever since. And even now I'm staring at my switch right there and I'm like, I just want to play fucking Zelda. But yeah, so that was fucking crazy. And then I went into work the next four days and I was fucking a zombie, dude. I was a fucking zombie. I got decent sleep, but when you wake up early every morning and you sit outside six hours a day and then go to work for a full week, like it's more exhausting than it sounds. Like it doesn't feel exhausting in the moment because you're not being active, um, but it wears on you. And then when you start working and start having to be active after that, it really just takes its toll. Um, so luckily, I mean, I'm still a little tired from it. And I, I'm on my first day off of this week, um, and I slept in pretty, pretty well, and I'm still a little tired from it, from this, this last week. So, uh, but overall, it's been good. So, so yeah. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm gonna go eat this pizza that I got sitting back here with this fucking fan blowing on it. Hopefully, it's not too cold now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, don't forget, uh, streams are every Saturday, Sunday, Monday at 7 p.m. I'm going to start up posting that on the actual page so you can see that. Also, make sure to uh, uh, follow me on Twitter so that way we can chat. Uh, you can see my updates. And uh, I do pretty much reply to people when they when they tweet at me anyways. I mean, I don't have a lot of Twitter followers, so it's real easy to do. Uh, so make sure to add me on Twitter if you want to you know, send a message or whatever. Uh, other than that, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.